Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now this video is actually meant to give an overall understanding about how to actually edit an equation, how to edit an equation in all across all three applications, namely the iWork. We have uh, pages over here, it's the pages. The numbers over the left, actually I made a table. You may actually uh, Pause this video, screen capture this so that if it's useful, you can actually use it. You can actually use it, right? So, and uh, as well as with numbers, right? Let's start off with um, pages. Um, in this video, I do not intend to actually uh, guide you on how to write an equation in detail because uh, I made a video in the past. Probably you can, uh, you may want to visit to my previous video on how to actually write an equation but this is actually an overall introduction on how to add an equation over to all three apps so most probably you want to hit up here or probably you want to click on that video my previous video to actually see how do you key an equation which is very simple so <clears throat> let's start with the pages um, you want to add an equation you press the shortcut key alternate command E then the new window pops out and this is the area where you want to key in the equation. What equation you key in? You need those special keys. So over the left here, what happened is you may actually get this line and then say for example, um, I want to find out, I want this triangle, right? So I just copy this and paste it there or I may just type slash triangle, then you get a triangle. Here is a display of how you look like. In uh, iWork or in uh, Keynotes or in uh, Numbers and across all three iWork product, um, the equation editing that uses latex coding, so it doesn't actually recognize spaces. So no spaces. But for interface purpose, I would normally use a space so it's easy, easier for me to see. So probably I want to write say a word. Okay, word say I want a text. So therefore it will be T E X T text. What's my text? I can say A, B, C, right? Triangle A, B, C. Or otherwise, you may actually write, I mean, for comparison purpose, I may actually do this, but instead, I'll write A, B, C. The font will be different, okay? One of that is actually a text, which is on the left, or the right is italic. But did you notice that this is actually space, but here it appear in one line. Because as mentioned, in here they do not recognize space and um, enter. So if you want it to have next line, so all you need to do is you need to put in alignment, say here. So if you align them, what happens is you need to add begin, align, up and down. I'm going to copy this one here. I paste it down here. E and D. Then I may add double slash. It means enter. So it appear up and down now. So there's an enter here, which is represented by this uh, double slash, forward slash. Okay. So you may just press on insert. Then here you go. You may actually change the format, which I've mentioned earlier from my previous video. You may actually change the size, increase it, change the uh, font. Okay, you have different font, increase it, change the color, etc. Actually, you can actually do it. Okay, in a, you may do it in across all iWork product. So, say for example, I want to do it. Uh, Let's say I want to do it here in Keynote. Say I want to have another equation. Um, let's say the sum. Oh, yeah, you can't do that, right? So alternate command E, or you may go here up to insert equation. You get the same window, right? Say now I want to have, say, um, Let's do something special. Let's say moment. Um, let's say this one. Circle 
arrow left. Okay, let's say I have circle arrow left. Okay, this is actually uh, anti-clockwise. Probably I can actually do a clockwise. Okay, so this is actually clockwise. Let's say I say clockwise positive. Um, sum of all the moment or sum of all the force or moment I would say would be equal to well you can have it right let's say I have R times F R cross F now you realize that I do not use the, the multiply is actually times the same goes with dy up here actually div is dy okay. probably you have r1 then underscore 1 multiply underscore 1 then plus now you realize I it added plus here it doesn't appear here but I think it's good enough you don't need to add a space but it's easier for my eye to see plus probably the same unit copy paste then um, plus R2 F2 right so I get one line already but of course if you want to have enter then you need to have uh, the begin align and end align added before and after here right so I will not further elaborate on how to add more of it. You may actually refer to the table here. I'm just going to insert, then here you go. I have my first equation, right? So, how about now? I want to actually key in an equation. I want the equation to be aligned properly. Say I want to align at an equal sign. So, you need to actually use the beginning and end align. So, here I have L I G N align begin align then align uh, end oh the other way around line so begin align okay so what I do is instead of using equal I use an ampersand. So this is actually an anchor. So whenever I, I press on this, so whenever I have this space, okay, enter. So it will align automatically over the equal sign. The ampersand sign will not show, it's just an anchor. Let them let the system know, oh, you must align at equal sign. So therefore they will be equal to say I have three, probably I have three times. 4 plus um, I would say a negative 1 since it's a vector times 8 right then I have slash and slash then enter again you may actually write here they will align at the back I mean you can see quite small but probably this is what Apple can improve and make it bigger so you can see equals to Okay, it's actually 12 minus 8, right? Then you can actually, uh, the unit, probably you can write on as a unit, or for now, you write an unit, that would be what? Uh, 4 Newton meter, right? Probably you can have it here, Newton meter, Newton meter, update the equation like this. Now if you want to have a space in between them, go back here, what happened, the space, there are many ways to add a space. I think the easiest is actually a slash and a semicolon. Right, let's say, see, there's a space now. So if you have a slash semicolon, that would be a space, okay? So add a space here, it's just easier for my eye to see. Okay. Right, this is the space. So I want to have space. This is how I can do it. 
here you go. So this is how it looks like. You can actually align it. So this is clockwise positive. This is equation, it's working, and this is how you go. Right? So it's always command alternate command E, you can get equation in. Um, but for the same goes with numbers. This is how I mean my numbers. Say for example, I want it to be a measured angle. Let's say I double click here. This is actually equation. Measured angle. This is how it looks like. I just add it in, increase the size, go to format, change the size, increase it, make it bigger or slower. So it's easier for me to uh, mean for as for reference in future. And there are other some other symbols, you can actually omega, okay? You have a uh, S-ray, you can have actually the uh, diameter text slash O, the diameter. There are so many latex coding, okay, available online. We actually uh, Google for latex coding, then you can actually get it. So this is another way I'm going to do a matrix. You have big huge bracket. It's actually left arrow, close right arrow after the matrix coding, right? So I hope it helps you with your Equation editing with iWork, which I think this summarizes the uh, all my series for addition editing, which I think is good enough already. So you may actually pause this video here now, and then uh, you get all this coding with you. Okay, first page, and then um, this is actually the second page. So there's easier reference for you in the future, or maybe actually you can make your own table. Then you might find it useful. And um, if it's really useful to you, I appreciate your thumbs up. I think that wraps up for my video today. Thank you for subscribing to my video if you haven't done so. Thank you.